Hey, it's Andre. So you may or may not know that I film most of my videos on this channel with either my Sony ZV-10 or my iPhone 13 Pro. Now while picture quality out of both of these is pretty good, that's usually half the story as to whether someone's going to continue watching a video if they're there for the content. And the other half of that is the sound quality. For me, I use a USB microphone that's just above what you can see in the frame, but what I do to condense my setup or even take it outside, I can't with a big microphone. So I went and had a look on Amazon, well, that's where most people tend to do that these days, and I stumbled across this, the Movo VXR10 Universal Cardioid Microphone. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. It's one of the cheapest little mics that I've seen, and I thought I'd get it and see what it's like. So let's see what you get inside this little box. So what you get is the instructions and some other bits of paper, the microphone itself, which we'll come to in a bit more detail in a moment, a shock mount, very furry windshield, a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable for use with cameras, a, another 3.5 TRS cable for use with smartphones, tablets, and computers, and a Movo carry case to put everything in. This black lightweight microphone is made entirely out of aluminium, features the speaker at the front, giving the microphone its cardioid polar pattern, which means that it will only pick up sound from the front of the microphone and not anywhere else around the microphone, allowing the subject's voice or sound to be the one in focus. On the back of the microphone is the input for the cable to connect to either your phone, tablet, computer, camera, or whatever recording device you're using to capture your content. There's no need for a battery in this device, which helps with its weight, so all the power generated is by whichever device you're connecting it to. And with no software needed to install or app to download, this microphone is plug and play and away you go. In my testing of this microphone, I'll be using probably the two most likely devices that microphones like these are gonna be used with, a camera in my Sony ZV-10 and my iPhone 13 Pro. So it's particularly useful if you're a beginner looking to use a microphone that's not gonna break the bank, while at the same time upgrading your audio from the standard onboard options. The camera setup, I'll be using the Sony ZV-10 on the Manfrotto Mini tripod, both with its native microphone and with the Movo microphone, with the windshield off and on, positioned on on the shock mount just to remove any unwanted handling noises and vibrations. Attached via the camera's hot shoe mount with the TRS cable attached to the microphone and the camera's microphone input port. For the iPhone setup, I'll be using this phone cage with the Movo attached on its cold shoe mount. And I'll be testing both the iPhone's own microphone and the Movo. For phones like the iPhone that obviously don't have a headphone jack for the other end of this cable, there's one more accessory that you're gonna need. And it's this Lightning to 3.5 jack adapter, which you can also get the USB-C version of this for other phones and devices that have USB-C ports. So let's go and test the Movo microphone. I'm using the Movo microphone on the Sony ZV-10. I've connected it with the TRS cable and just straight into the microphone jack on the camera. So I'm holding the camera, probably what you'd say a vlogger's length, probably about eight inches or so away from the camera. So if I was to get a little bit closer like this, it's on like this, and then at full arm's length, I'm like this. So just let me know in the comments below what this sounds like. I've currently not got the windshield on. It's not very windy, as you might be able to say. You might be able to hear some birds or something like that in the background, but you should be able to hear my voice really clearly. But just let me know what you think. Back to using the Sony ZV-10 again. This time with the Movo microphone, I've got the windshield on. So it might sound a little bit clearer. As I said, it's not very windy out today. There is a plane overhead, so you might be able to hear that. You might not be able to hear that. And this is what it sounds like with the ZV-10's native microphone. So comparing to the Movo microphone, just let me know whether that sounds any better or any worse. So I've now come to another area of the park that I'm currently walking in. It's a little bit noisy here. I've got the windshield on. You may hear a bit of, there is a bit of drilling, some workers are doing some construction in the background. I'm actually next to a road as well, so you might be able to hear that. But the important thing, as long as you can hear my voice clearly and it's blocking out the rest of the noise around it, then the microphone is doing its job. So I've come to sit down, I've, I've taken the windshield off. So now I'm without the windshield on, next to that same road, the construction is still going on and there are some birds around which you may or may not be able to hear because I'm next to a little pond. Now the microphone is usually good for close-up, sort of the vlogger's distance, but let's see what it sounds like as I go further and further away from the microphone. So you may still be able to hear me or not, I'm getting further and further away. So just let me know whether you can still hear me 
or not. So as I come a bit closer, you should still be able to hear me again. Now before you say it, I know the vlogging style of me doing this isn't very good because I'm not a vlogger. I'm just used to doing my videos in front of a teleprompter. But it's all about how the Movo sounds. So currently, as I said, I've got it without the windshield on. The wind's picked up a bit now, so I've got the windshield on, so you should be able to clearly hear my voice with the Movo microphone on. And the good thing also about the Movo on that shock mount, if I'm behind the camera like I am now, and I want to shoot another subject, like I'm shooting my dog there, I can just position the Movo in the opposite direction so that it can hear me clearly and not anything in front of the uh, microphone. So I'm recording using the Movo microphone on the iPhone 13 Pro. I've got it attached to the iPhone via a TRRS cable and with that also attached is a Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter just so that it attaches to the phone. I hope it's not currently windy, there might be a few bird noises. I haven't got the windshield on at the moment but I will try that in a minute. So now I've currently got the iPhone 13 Pro with the Movo microphone again but I've got this time I've got the windshield on. I don't know whether it's made any difference because it's not particularly windy outside at the moment but just let me know in the comments below what it actually sounds like. I'll also show you a diagram of what the current set lo looks like as well. And in comparison this is me using the iPhone's native microphone. So what does it sound like compared to the Movo microphones? Just let me know in the comments below. So I thought I'd show you what the Movo attached to the Sony ZV-10 sounds like indoors with very few external noises apart from my own. So I'm currently speaking through the Movo microphone without a windshield on as I'm inside. And if I switch to a future Andre. So now I'm using the Sony's native microphone. If we just compare that to the Movo or even the Studio One. Does that sound better or worse? And now I'm using my normal studio USB microphone, which is the Fifine K658 USB microphone. And now if we go back to the Movo microphone, let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound quality of the Movo microphone. I think when it is plugged into the camera, you can definitely hear the better sound quality coming from the microphone compared to its native microphone and even in very noisy environments although you can still hear that noisy construction going on my voice is still the dominant overriding sound when it is plugged into the iphone the comparisons are a lot closer while there are times when the iphone mic may sound better there's no difference in the separation between your voice and any background sounds while with the microphone in there is that separation that you may give you a better sounding end product here are all the tech specs for this microphone for those of you who are looking for those fine details like frequency response and sensitivity. But for that budget price that you're getting this microphone for, you're getting everything you need to start creating content. Whether that will be talking to the camera in an indoor environment like this. Or in an outdoor environment like this. The accessories that come with this are going to give you every opportunity to add better sound quality with the shock mount and the windshield on whichever device you want, whether that's your phone, tablet, computer, camera all thanks to those two cables in a little compact design that's not going to look too overbearing on your device and can be packed away in the travel bag at the end of your shoot. While you're generally going to get the best sound from this microphone while you're quite close to it, so you're not competing with the background noise, let's, I think I called it the vlogging distance, that makes an ideal for the sort of setups that I've shown you in this video, rather than anything that requires you to be at a distance from your microphone, in which you'd be better off getting a wireless microphone. But for this, it's definitely an ideal, affordable addition to your setup and a must have if you're looking to upgrade to better audio without breaking the bank. This microphone proves that cheap doesn't always mean bad. While you could spend more to get a much better sound, you could also spend slightly more on another budget microphone and get sound quality that's either the same or worse. If you're using this microphone in your setup or you've got any questions about this Movo VXR10, just let me know in the comments below. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you already haven't. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.